The inflation data is great. My main concern next year remains the same. I still think bond yields will shift higher for the wrong reason, which is I still think September this year was a nice warning about what can come if governments okay. carry on spending. You said lots there, and I'm very interested in all of what you just said. So bond yields will go higher for the wrong reasons. Bond Explain, sir. Later in the year, into next year, we've gone from Q, yeah, QE to QT. What has been fascinating, those of us who understood QE meant lower shifted bond yields with the ECB being 140% of daily turnover and buying every single European bond for the last six years, sovereign bonds, suddenly next year they're going to issue a trillion and they're not doing that anymore. Yeah. Mm, entertaining. The UK has got to what, do what, nearly 300 billion, of which 80% is new. All of this is going to be shifted into a market where the banks are notionally not buying it anymore, as in the central banks. So, although we're all pivoting on the inflation, pivoting, get this thread, very good, um, I'm actually as concerned about the issuance yeah. and, and what it means. And notice bond yields, are they f collapsing when the market falls 2 3%? No, they're not. So, something is interesting in the bond market and the equity market, and they are correlating. And I think that was the theme of this year, and I think you've got to be wary of it next year. It doesn't mean the world is disastrous. We aren't starting with a guilt yield of half percent, are we? At least they've got some yield on them. But it's a different kind of dynamic for next year. Which has been fascinating.